Okay, this one we're going to look at how we can do like a press and hold uh, to get different types of functionality. Like uh, we're, we're actually just going to uh, make an object, kind of throw it up in the air, and depending on how long you press, um, you'll, it'll go further up in the air. So that's, that's the idea for this one. Uh, I'm going to make a 2D project, and I'm going to call this, I don't know, press and hold. How's that? And we'll create a project. Again, like all of my other tutorials, or a lot of the other ones, we'll be using Glitch the Game assets, so you can go and pick those up if you want to. Um, this one is really only going to have, um, like, two images, so it's not overly complicated. Um, this is my scene, and in my game view, I've got this thing set up um, for mobile. I'm going to just move it back and say 16 by 9. Um, so if you want yours to be vertical, you can you know change it here in your drop down. I'm just going to go back to 16 by 9 since that's probably what most people have at this point in time. All right, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is get rid of this horrendous blue color. I'll make it white, and now we've got something to work with. Beautiful. All right, uh, where are my assets? Here we go. Maybe? Nope. One sec, I'll go find all of my Glitch the Game assets as you stare at an empty screen, but it won't take long. Here we go. Materials, Glitch, awesome. All right, here we go. Um, so what am I going to make? I'm going to need something to stand on. I'm just going to drag this thing um, out here and scale it all the way across. Yes, this will not be very pretty, but that's all right. And then we need something to throw. What will we throw? I don't know. How about this? This thing we will throw. We'll just kind of throw it up in the air. Um, and the, we're going to add a force to this thing in the Y direction. Um, and we'll use the physics engine to make it look really nice. So I'm going to do a couple things here. Um, with our ground selected, I'm going to add Physics 2D and a box collider. And we've done other talks on box colliders before, so you can check that out um, a little bit more if you want to and some of the other ones. But with this box collider, that's where everything's going to collide with. And I'm going to move my collision box, which is this little green uh, box, move it down a little bit so this thing will rest on top of it. It'll look a little better, um, although it doesn't really matter for this one. Um, and on this, I'll add a component, Physics 2D, uh, box collider 2D and also add a, a rigid body to it and what that'll do is it'll let gravity pull it down and then we can use uh, a force to push it up and that's that's what we're gonna do this big gigantic collision box is not that great so um, I'm gonna change the size of it by just sliding over here and again really doesn't matter for this one but um, but anyway so now when I run um, this thing should fall down and rest nicely and look beautiful. Um, so what we're going to do now is watch for a uh, mouse press and we'll time how long that mouse press is down and then depending on that we will add a different force in the up direction. So this won't end up being too bad. Uh, I'm going to create a new C sharp script and we'll call it, uh, what do we call this one, press and hold? Let's just call it touch controller. That. Um, I will add that to our plants. Why not? I'm going to drag it over here. And here we are. Touch controller. Okay, so a um, couple things. Um, one thing that we got to do is we're going to watch for different types of touches. So we will say if uh, input.get mouse button down, zero. We'll do this. And I've talked about it in some of the other tutorials, but this get mouse button down zero is looking for a left click. Um, and it also works for a single finger, single finger press on Android or iOS too. So that works pretty good. Um, so this is when we're going to go down. And this is when we go up here. So well, this is when we release the button or we kind of release our press. And uh, we're going to do different things. So for right now, um, let's say, let's just look at this, and we're, we're going to add a force in the up direction. So when we release the button, when we release our press, we're going to force our uh, little plant guy up in the air. So I will do that by saying get component rigid body 2D dot add force new vector, oops, new vector 2, or how about let's just do this. I think we can do this. Vector 2 dot up. Is a thing. Can we do that? Yeah. 
times speed. Okay, we don't have a speed, so let's add one up here. Float speed equals 1.5F. I am 100% guessing. I have no idea if this is the right value or not, but we'll just try it and see what happens. Um, this may need to be 1,000. It might need to be 0.5. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we have our speed. Um, when we release our mouse button, we are going to add a force uh, in the up direction uh, at a value of our speed. So let's see what happens um, if we run this thing. Nothing happens. All right, so here's our plant, and why is that not there? Oh, I'm going to make this public. So I switch back to my script. I make this public, so that way we can change it over here in Unity. And now it should show up down here, which it does, and let's make that 150. 150 units, oops. And let's go. There it goes. So now when I release my mouse button, uh, it's going to go up. Now, you do have this weird, you know, if I can double-click thing, but that we can work on in another thing. Right now, what I want to just show is that when I release the button, it does that. And what we want to do is have it, the longer we hold the button down, the higher it goes. So let's say uh, we need a float, which is touch start time. And... Um, and then we'll figure out how long we've been uh, holding the button, and then we'll be able to adjust our speed based on that. So our touch start time is going to equal time dot time. And I'm putting that right here when the button goes down. Now we'll say uh, float delta. This is how long we held the mouse button down equals time dot time minus touch start time. All right, so that's how long did we hold that. And I believe that's in seconds, but let's just see what happens. Delta. Let's see. All right, so this is our, our time of how long we've been down, and we don't know. I'm pretty sure it's seconds, but we'll say we don't know. And let's run it and see. So now we should see a printout. Let's see, down, up. That's about a second. And here's our delta down here at 0.8, so that's about what it is. So uh, we will say something like, based on this delta value, if it's larger, that means the player has held the button down longer, and so the speed will have to be higher. So we could say something like uh, float adjusted speed equals speed times delta. And then in here, we'll pass it adjusted speed. So if we hold our button down for one second, it will jump a little bit like we saw before. And if it's more than that, it's going to jump more than that. And if it's less, it'll jump less. That's the idea anyways. Let's see what happens. All right. One, 1,000. That's about what we had. Now let's hold it down for two seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And it went higher. So if I hold it down, I'm holding it down right now for a while. Uh, eventually, I'll let go. There it goes. And it comes down. And if I hold it just a little bit, there it goes. So, I mean, this is the extent of what I want to do for this one. Um, now that we understand how we can count and uh, how much time we have and apply that to something else, you could have like a uh, like a power bar or something like that that goes across. Like as you hold it down, it's like starts going across. Um, and then that way the player knows what's happening. But right now we know that we can get the time. We know it's in seconds. Um, we set some sort of a speed. And then based on that, we adjust um, where we're at. And we just did that in this little bit of code right here. And that's it. So that's how we can do these long presses. Um, and we're using the mouse button down of zero, which is a left click or a single finger press um, on a mobile device. So um, that's about it for this one.